Welcome everyone to another video. Today I want to talk to you about this program right here, which is BleachBit, which is a free open source program you can use to clean garbage data off your computer. Today we're just going to run through the features and functions that it offers and how it works. And I also want to go over it today because I do know a lot of people are looking for an alternative to the popular program CCleaner. Mainly that has to do with the fact that ever since CCleaner was acquired by Avast, it's had multiple issues with hackers. And so some people just don't feel comfortable using CCleaner anymore, which is understandable. And so I do want to go over an alternative and kind of compare it to CCleaner and the features it offers and how it works. Let me also be very, very clear. You do not have to install a third party solution or program in order to clean garbage data off your computer. A lot of that can be done right within Windows 10 and within web browsers themselves. If you don't feel comfortable using a third-party solution, you do not have to. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and take a look here at BleachBit. So let's go ahead and start off looking at the menu here in the top left corner. And we can see right away some of the first options that it gives us is to be able to do a secure file or folder deletion. And CCleaner does offer a somewhat similar option as far as being able to wipe the drives more securely. But it doesn't give you the option to target a specific file or folder. And so let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're just going to use the file option. We're going to select this Apple on the desktop and we'll just click on open. And then we'll go ahead and click on delete. And just like that, it's gone. So it's pretty simple and easy to use. And so there are additional options as far as wiping your drive or using a secure delete option. Additionally, I would draw your attention here to preferences. Now, by and large, I would just go with the default options that are listed here. Some main things I would look for is just make sure that you have the update option selected. You will notice a custom option, and this is very useful if you want to add a custom file or folder that you want cleaned out routinely. And once you add it here, you just come down here to system and there is a custom option listed right there and so that is an additional benefit you have here in bleach bit you also have a tab for drivers as well as whitelist in case you want to make sure that there is a folder that never gets touched which is another added benefit i do like here in bleach bit now back here at the main interface we can see all of our options as far as being able to delete uh, various folders and files and one thing I do like is that it gives a definition here in the middle to let you know what you're selecting and what's going to be cleared out. And so these are all the options just down the uh, left hand side. We do have a preview option, which is similar to the analyze option in CCleaner, which will then give us a report of what will be cleaned out if we go ahead and clean it out. So we can see those numbers right here. It tells us how much space will be cleaned out as well as how many files will be deleted. Now, one thing I do want to point out if I move this over here to the left a little bit, I'm just going to open up CCleaner again. One thing you will notice is that there are a couple browsers missing here in BleachBit. We do have Firefox, we have Chrome, we have Internet Explorer, but the new Microsoft Edge does not show up and the Brave browser does not show up here in BleachBit. They will show up over here in CCleaner. And so just be aware of that, that those two browsers will not be here in BleachBit. If you don't use those browsers, then it's not a problem. Now, BleachBit does not offer a registry cleaner, but a lot of people do not like to clean their registry out, which is understandable because it can cause some problems. Just be aware that that function is not available. Additionally, if you look under tools, there is the option to uninstall programs to do, for example, a startup audit. A lot of these features, again, you can do these all just in Windows, but if you're looking for a program that has all of this just in it where you can clean everything out at once, BleachBit is not going to have these additional options. So just be aware of that also. Now that we've got everything selected that we want to go ahead and clean out, I'm going to go ahead and just minimize each one of these categories. And then what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and hit the clean option and then it will give us a warning. I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete. And now that it has finished, it gives us the report right down here. Now that we've actually run BleachBit, let's go ahead and open up CCleaner. And I'm just going to hit the analyze button just to see if it finds anything additional. And I do expect it to find additional items just because of those two browsers that BleachBit was not picking up. And so we do see that it does find some additional items to clean out. But again, that's to be expected. Overall, I think BleachBit is a good program to use, especially if you're looking for something that's free and open source and alternative to CCleaner. I should also mention that it's also available for Linux. So if you are on a Linux system, you can use it. But if you're on a Mac using Mac OS, unfortunately, it's not available. So you will have to look to other alternatives. I do want to note that I do have a video on the channel that walks you through how to do a full clean and maintenance on your Windows computer. And part of what I go over, if I go ahead and hit play, is how to open up the storage in Windows 10, 
which is really useful because right there in Windows, you can actually go through and clean out a lot of the garbage. It doesn't give you all the same reporting that you get in like a cleaning or third party cleaning solution, but it is useful and especially handy if you don't feel comfortable and don't like using third party uh, software. And so this is it right here where you can just go through and do a lot of the cleaning needed right here in Windows. I will post a link down in the notes down in the video description to this video. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions or if you feel there's a better alternative, please list it down below and we will take a look at it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.